I remember I once met Buddy Wakefield. And there are three very inspiring things I will never forget him saying to me. The first being, your eyes are like very intense fucking magnets. <laughs> Secondly, your stories will win nothing. They're not important. Tell another. I will admit to you that Seattle does not have a ghetto as hard as we may try. And I may not have lived in the trillest of hoods, but I've fallen in love with just about every city with a subway. I call a Seattle Metro bus my home. Between the streets of Bangor and Aloha, I have learned more lessons than I have ever written thesis papers or heard that stupid song, Kumbaya, six blocks from my house, there are castles where we don't tread except for dressed up holidays. And around here, I've seen more faces turned into Halloween masks personally than I have friends with driver's licenses. There are more dead end signs here than I've seen anywhere else. The third, there is sanctity here. Do not ruin it. How am I supposed to mix fake tears and truth? See, I will air fields of my dirty laundry so you may see where my heart bleeds and my bruises go. And I will tell these stories, especially the ones of the church mouse that wears basketball shorts under slacks every Sunday because your God, as their witness, these Christian niggas be doubting that this jumper is not the second coming of Jesus and will save him from this hell. It will save him from this hell one day. The little girls the little girls that look for the reflections of their fathers and boys that have not found theirs. You do not speak for my city. You do not tell the stories of boys and girls not on Macklemore and constant cups of coffee. So being a busybody buddy, I will. Real, it's whoever has lived it. So please, reserve your shit. Too many assholes don't already. And though we are not used to pretty polishing, it is hard out here for us cornerstone stories. Running typewriters and guitars are cool, I guess. And the people in your part of town have it hard. I can imagine we are all human. But the bandits are not alive in my trust. They live in other people's houses and at metro bus stops and outside of elementaries to pick up little siblings after school. See, I've been told all my life by people that look just like you of things that I am not good enough or unfit for. Buddy, I'm mad at you. I just got these stories, though. A little bit more to go before people listen. Mm -hmm.